Naji here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are continuing our discussion with blip, and in our previous two videos we have discussed about image text retrieval and image captioning. And in this video we are going to discuss about visual question answering. Okay. So here, what we are do, we can import till. then from transformer from transformers what we can do we can import auto processor it's for the pre processing and we can do a blip for question answering okay so this is the model that we are going to import and okay it's in progress and let me import request also this help us to download the image and we can use the same url image okay so uh, let me check for the image okay so this is the image this is the same image okay now this is wrong copy and paste it here okay so this is the image that we are going to this is the same image um, with the uh, two cats okay and <coughs> you can download the image in the similar manner okay so we can do request dot get here we can give the url and we can set the stream is equal to true okay then we can set the raw image so we have our image okay now we can have our text okay this is our question question will be like uh, how many cats are in the picture picture okay so this is the text and here we can have inputs okay. so we am passing the image here now I can pass the text here so this will do the image encoding and the text encoding and I can return the tenses as pt okay so processor okay i have made a small mistake here so we need to declare the process and the model here that is not done so processor let me set the processor processor can be auto processor dot from pre-trained and here we can do the sales salesforce and uh, the model that we are going to use is Blib VQA base. So this is the text that we are going to use. Okay. So the downloading is in progress. Okay, it's done. Now let me do the uh, model part here. So in the model part, we can uh, we can have the model like blip from question answering. So blip before question answering here also we can mention the same model that is salesforce okay blip iphone v q a front base okay here i miss one thing let me add that dot from pre-train okay now we have the pre-processor and model is ready okay then we have our question now we will pass these two things and our image and the question to a processor model okay so i am executing that also so done now we can do the generate part so in the output we can have a model dot generate star star input so 
sorry in that's yeah so the execution is almost done so we can do the decoding part okay i can do the processor dot decode and here i can have output zero then i can skip the special characters otherwise we will get that e eos symbol okay it is equal to true okay uh no attribute called its decode okay so see so we got the exact correct result so it says the two okay so here we can try this uh maybe let me copy this picture and we can try it here let me open the new tab and paste it here see so this is our input image here you can see two cats okay so by giving input this image as input we have asked a question here you can see the question how many cats are there in the picture okay so it's actually returned two okay so this is how we can use uh, this particular the blip model for question and answering so <clears throat> i think we have discussed all the three things like visual question answering and image text matching and the image captioning okay so that is all about in this video please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye